Это для тех, кто не знает, что такое наркотики. For people that never experienced it. For people that never tried drugs. I mean, you better not try it. As, as we heard, a lot of bad stuff is going on, you know, and, and uh, with you when you take drugs and different outcomes and all this stuff. But what I want to talk about is uh, today in schools, as we heard somebody mentioned it, uh, many people get on drugs in schools. Slavic and Alexei, they testified to you. They were 16, 14 years old. And they tried drugs already at that age. I mean, what is this, like middle, middle school, right? Like when you, I mean, in the middle school, people already start doing drugs. I need to do I heard like many people come to the center. We have like for the last year, almost 60 people came to the center. It's, it's, it's a huge number. And even more people are struggling with drugs right now at this time. And um, uh, there was a group of people. There were friends. And at one summer, they all ended up being drug addicts. Just because somebody came and they say, oh, try this, this, this stuff, you know, this is so cool, this is awesome, this is, gives you a happiness and, and uh, like, etc. So try it. This is Chiva, you know. They're like, Chiva, what is Chiva? I don't know, let's try it. So they tried this chiva, but they didn't know what chiva is, and they didn't know that this is a heron. So they ended up being drug addicts. Some of them are dead already. They came, some of them came to the center of this group of people. They, they've been friends. Some of them came to the center, they left, they died. Some of them came, they got freedom. Now they're serving the Lord. Some of them, some of them, they still struggling with drugs. They're addicted. I mean, uh, so when somebody will come up to you in a school, your friends, doesn't matter who, if they will give you a pill, they will say, oh, here, here, here we go. Your head hurts, your heart hurts, whatever hurts. You know, take this. This is going to calm you down. This is going to help. Do not take it. If you do not know what is this exactly, if you're not sure what is this, do not take it. It could be like a little pill. It could be a, like parashok, you know, I don't know how it's in English. Like a yeah, powder. Could be, a, I mean, in any kind of form. You'll try it once, as Hart said, you'll like it. Because it's going to produce this effect. It's going to hit you in your head, basically, and kill all those, some of those billion of spark plugs and I mean you will feel awesome but next time it's not gonna happen and you will seek for more and more and more and more three four times you're a drug addict I mean для тех кто попробовал уже если кто-то пробовал наркотики somebody tried it once twice I mean, there is different reasons. Sometimes friends, they drag you. Sometimes there is a bad relationship with your parents. Sometimes there is uh, bad boyfriends or girlfriends or it could be a depression, anything, you know? So if you're in a situation where you want to use drugs and you tried it once or twice and you hear and you understand what it does to you and where it leads you, then stop it. Try to change the environment you are in. Try to change your friends. Try to change something. Go, go to your, to find better friends. For, try to stick to your parents. Try to stick to your church. You know, do something. Try to keep yourself busy. When people come to the center, we keep them busy 24-7. I mean, sometimes guys say, you guys are harsh. <laughs> you don't give us any free time at all. He, you're like torturing us here, you know. I mean, this is for good because we understand. When people stay alone, when they have time to sit down, these thoughts are coming back and they're hitting your head. 
and it makes you go back and do the same thing. When you're busy, when you do something for God, I mean, then, then there is less chances that you're gonna gonna, gonna go back. I mean, do you guys understand me? Because <laughs> I have a hard time speaking in English. Uh, it's very hard to produce some. I mean, to express some thoughts. But well, I'm trying to do my best. Uh, so, um, also another thing I wanted to talk to is. Um, to those people that are in addiction at this point, I don't know if there is any people right here, uh, but if there are some people uh, and you understand what situation you are in, then it's good already. Because many drug addicts, they don't admit that they have a problem. Usually, all the people around, they say, you have a problem, come on, look at, look, look, around you know look you're losing your job you're losing your friends you're losing your family you're losing everything and this person will say you know what everything is good everything is great I am on the top I have friends I have money I have everything and then time passes and these people end up in the pit in the bottom they hit the bottom rock bottom right so, I mean, this is when they realize, but this is the time when they have nothing at all. Sometimes they get divorced, sometimes they lose their uh, jobs, money, uh, I mean, any, everything, college, education. Many people come to the center, they, they lost everything. The only thing they have is their life, basically, that God saved for them. And uh, this is bad, you know. Some people die. You know how many people are dead today because of drugs? They don't live too long. There is, uh, there is a few ways with drugs when you're addicted to drugs. Prison. What is it? Kladbyshe? What is it called? Huh? Gravy? Like, or gra not gravy, graveyard. <laughs> and... Uh, and another place, I mean, go to God. The Bible says, If the Son will make you free, you will have this freedom for sure. But you have to know the Son of God. You have to know Jesus. You have to know Him. I mean, I'm, I believe in God. And for years, I serve in the center. I help people to get over drugs. I I talk to them. I we we do like uh, like counseling on all that stuff. So I understand that this is the only way. People that were have have been drug addicts for some time, when they get free from drugs, they say it's not only physical addiction; it's also a spiritual addiction. There is one thing. When people go to prison, for example, and they have been smoking for like 10 years, when they want to come out, I mean, while they're in the prison, nobody will give you cigarettes, right? No, there is some ways they can get it, but I mean, very few chances. But you, and people don't smoke for, for, for example, five years. But when time comes and they have to go out of prison, these thoughts start coming into their head. You need to use it. You need it. And once they stepped out, the only thing they have, the only thought they have, you need to use it again. And uh, drug addicts, they usually say, a drug can wait for you, and it waits for you all the time. So when you go down again, when you, for example, like, got freedom basically and and then you started going down again hanging out with uh, like bad guys and girls and, and these racing cars and all this stuff fun what people call fun